Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're going to be looking at what is the next huge, major love chapter coming up for you. So it is intended for Earth Signs, um, but if you're dealing with an Earth Sign, uh, so to the cross watchers, this reading can be available for you as well. Um, there's going to be an extended version, which will look at the advice for each sign. So I'm going to break it up for Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. The link is below. You will have to sign up for membership to access those extended readings for the month. Otherwise, okay, let's see what's happening for Earth Signs. What is this next major love chapter um, that's coming up around you? Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Okay, this card's speaking to me. Okay, you've got the three of wands, but the three of wands is reversed. So strong fire energy that's coming up around you. Three of wands is normally taking uh, action and making plans or working towards the plans for the long-term future. It's also a card of having options and sort of being all over the place. Earth signs, I feel like the next chapter is going to entail a much more settled life for you. Um, but I actually don't see you planning too far ahead. So I'm seeing this next chapter is all about short-term love goals, short-term plans, and things happening in the present moment. So what I'm seeing here is things are happening in your immediate future. Okay, there's messages coming in. There's a connection that's flourishing, potentially with a fire sign here. And I feel like you're eliminating options. So I feel like you're filtering through. And there could be one connection in particular that starts to stand out more than the others, maybe. Uh, and it's really going to be taking off here. Now, I also feel like for a lot of you, there's short-term connections. So if you want to be single, if you want to date, if you want to be on the rebound, if you want these short-term flings or you don't want to commit too heavily, this is what this next chapter is going to entail. So if you want it, that's great news for you. If you don't want it, maybe that's not so great news. But... It doesn't mean that it's set in stone. Let's have a look and see what else comes up next to this. Three of Wands reversed. Okay, could be ending of third parties here. So you're shutting out the exes. You're no longer cheating. That person that was um, dating you and someone else, maybe they're no longer interested in doing that. There, There is a big shift. Okay, but that would be the good news that there's this elimination. Elimination. Um, okay, Three of Swords is here. So we've got Taurus and Cancer that have come up. So if you're dealing with one of these signs, this person is coming through very, very strongly. Okay, Earth signs, what do we have here? So I really feel like there is a significant relationship here. There is a, a relationship coming out of like deceit. So if there's been cheating or, you know, I see a lot of you Earth signs, you're actually like leaving an existing connection to be with someone else. It may not have started on the best foundations, like there might have been flirtation or cheating or something. But a lot of you, I see you a lot of, I see a lot of you moving from one connection to another. Okay. Maybe there's not deceit and cheating involved necessarily. Maybe you're like going to give up and go, you know what? I want to give this other connection a go. I want to see how things go because there is an ending. Okay. We've got that nine of swords and this is like, what's this new chapter? This, this new chapter is bringing you an ending, but it's also bringing you a new emotional offer. You've got the Venus energy with that King uh, of Pentacles here. So it is that Taurian energy that is bringing you love. So there's definitely, there's, there's no shortage of love. Um, but I feel like you're going to have the option to be like, okay, do I want them in my life for good? Do I just want to have a bit of a play with them? Um, and then walk away. Like, I feel that's going to be up to you of signs of where you want this connection to go, how, how deep and how far you want this connection to go. Um, I do want to say that you might be, like I said, you're putting the end to third party situations or you're putting the end to heartbreak and healing. So the the chariot is coming up though. So I wonder if this is like a past attachment. Um, you may be finding you're very nostalgic of a connection you had before and you might not have them in your life now. You might have changed, you know, moved on to someone else. But I get that this person is going to come up and they may come up in your subconscious because the chariot and the moon are linked. So I'm wondering if you're like going to be dreaming about this person. Or they'll just pop into your mind randomly and you'll be like, why, why am I thinking about them so much? You know, wh why is this happening? So there's there's a higher 
purpose to that. And the chariot card would tell me there's like, you feel there's unfinished business with this connection or this person, um, or you feel like it's in your stars to reunite. It's likely that there could be a reunion, especially of a divine masculine and divine feminine connection, which are the black and the white sphinxes. Could it be your happily ever after with this person? Yes. Um, I feel like you're going to find yourself or you're going to find the person that you belong with because look at that Knight of Cups. Like he's coming from this barren land and he's finding something. He's finding something that's worth his while. He's finding love. And I do feel like there is a commitment here, but that commitment is going to come out of like deceit or out of option somehow or potentially out of your past. And like I said, reunions are possibly very likely during this time. So I feel like a reunion is on the cards for a lot of you Earth signs watching. Now, Taurus, you've come up here, so and you're sitting in the middle. So I feel like, Taurus, you have a lot of options coming up around you. Um, either way, the King of Pentacles is the last king of the deck. He's the last courtly figure of the deck. So I want to say for a lot of you, this next chapter is like the person that you're going to settle down with, right? Because there is no one past the King of Pentacles. So did I say knight? I meant king. So if this is the case, Earth Science, the moral of the story, um, to make a long story short, this could be your forever, happily ever after. This could be the one you settle down with. This could be the last person you're intimate with, the last person you, you know, settle down with. This, this, this is it. I mean, this is like that big commitment that we're talking here. And you might have, it might have taken you a long road to get there. You know, that Three of Swords, it might have been a hard road. You might have a history with this person and it's like it's intense. There's been cheating. There's been betrayal. There's been hurt. But underneath it all, the chariot is bringing you back together because this this love is, is, is really big. Okay, it's bigger than love. It's bigger than life. And it's coming up for a reason here. And you're possibly some of you are like stressing about it, anticipating it. And this person can show up and return to you and give you the love you are so deserving of, um, Earth Signs. So, you know, that's something that I feel is coming up in the cards. I feel for others with the Three of Wands, you are eliminating options. Um, but I feel like you're going to break some hearts along the way here too. So it's not, you know, I feel like breaking of hearts is happening not only on you know their end I feel like you either may be experiencing that in this next new chapter or you're going to be the cause of that earth signs okay you might be breaking a few hearts here maybe you don't want something long term like I said the you're not thinking about long term because that card is reversed but it just may so happen that in taking things slowly and day by day you will end up to see months years or even decades later that this is the person that you'll ultimately settle with so that is a beautiful message tied up here um earth signs but i'll leave it there and continue with your extended the link is going to be available below so hopefully you'll join me on the other side um take care everyone lots of love and bye for now